Today we're going to explain how to maintain your timber using this picnic table from our friends at Hutton Garden Products. And here we have our constructed picnic table. Now even though it's brand new, your maintenance regime starts right here and now. It's made with tantalised timber, so it's protected against rot, fungi, insect attack for 15 years, but it has no water repellency, so you have to water protect it. Best thing to do is to use a high quality wood stain or oil. Being a horizontal surface, you're going to need something that's very hard wearing, a water repellent. Otherwise, the cheaper, softer coatings are just going to wear away. First thing is always preparation. Now, whether it's new or old timber, preparation is exactly the same. So, first step in your preparation, make sure it's clean. So, you can just use soapy water, but this is pretty clean already, so I'm just going to wipe it down with a cloth and with this brush. You also need to remove any old coatings, if it's old timber obviously. If it's new timber, the only thing to consider is to make sure that the tantalised treatment or the pressure treatment has actually weathered enough. Now the best thing to do is follow manufacturer's guidelines on this. Because Hutton used Tanalith E, you can just top coat it straight away. All you do if you find a patch of the salty residue, just use a little scouring pad and rub it off. So the next really important thing is to make sure that your timber is fully dry. Now I know this is dry because it's been in my shed for the last couple of weeks. So the next thing is to make sure that the weather is decent. You need to have a good 24 to 48 hours worth of dry weather, otherwise if the rain comes in before your coating's fully dried, then it's just going to ruin it and it won't work properly. Being a horizontal surface, you're going to get a lot of wear and tear and exposure. You'll get sitting water, it'll be affected by frost really badly. So you need to use a hard wearing, high quality wood stain or oil. Now Hutton Garden products, they recommend using either Protect Royal Exterior, which the water base would finish, or Restall Wood Oil, um, and that's soaked straight into the timber. Both of them leave in really good protected water repellent coatings. So I'm going to be using Restful Wood Oil in brown on this picnic table. It's going to be sitting in the garden overlooking the wood, so I want it to have a really nice natural looking colour. Nice, even strokes. Now this wood oil, the same as Protex Royal Exterior, is microporous. So it means that the coating breathes, it's nice and flexible, so it moves with the timber as it shrinks and expands, contracts. And being tantalised timber, you only need to use two coats of this. So now that the first coat's completely dry, we can get on with putting the second on. Now if you like the look of just one coat of the brown, you can always put a top coat of the UV Natural Clear on top. It's got UV blockers inside it, so not only will it give you the two coat protection, but also the UV blockers are going to stop the UV rays from fading the brown pigments, so it'll last a lot longer. Now, I want to go ahead and use a second coat of the brown. A second coat is going to deepen and enrich the colour further, and to make things a lot easier, I'm going to do the underneath first. And make sure that you properly seal the ends of the feet and the ends of the bench, basically all the ends need to be sealed completely because otherwise any water is going to be sucked up and drawn straight into the timber. So we've finished painting the second coat on the underneath of this and we're ready to get on with the top. Now if this was a maintenance coat, you'd be doing this in about two to four years time and the approach is exactly the same. Basically you have to make sure that it's clean, the timber's dry and that there's a decent spell of weather, usually about 24 to 48 hours of dry weather and then you're ready to crack on with painting. So you can see how this first coat is really soaked into the timber and it's enriching, nourishing it and protecting it. And this second coat which is going to build up a bit more of a film protective coating on the outside. And here we are, 
it's all finished now and it really is that simple and easy to look after and maintain your timber product.